Hello everyone, this is Diane. I have a little pa package that I want to open and share with you. Uh, my sweet friend Pirio from Germany and I had been talking about doing a supply swap for a while and we hadn't done it yet and then she said her husband was flying to the United States for a business trip and she thought she would send a package with him He's on the west coast. I live in Pennsylvania. Well, he's in Vegas. That's not the coast. But he's out west, and I'm out east. So um, she sent a package with him that he could take to a U.S. post office and send so it wouldn't cost so much in shipping. Overseas shipping is so expensive. And then she sent me the address of the hotel that he was at, so I had a little um, package ready to go to her. So, my package from her came today, so I'm going to go through it with you. We hadn't really talked about what we were going to swap, except we had mentioned, she had mentioned um, playing cards. She loves playing cards. So I sent her a bunch of playing cards, and I sent her other things too. So I can't wait to see what she sent me. I don't know what that says, but it's a cute little card. Aw, she says, I'm happy to call you my dear friend. Happy crafting, Pirio. Thank you, Pirio. I am so happy to call you my friend. It's really fun to make uh, friends all over the world through this community. And Pirio has been a real sweet one. So, I really like the looks of this. Oh my goodness, it's a whole catalog. I love that. 1957. It's as old as me. Oh, Pirio, thank you so much. If you've seen my recent collage and glue book videos, you know that I love these vintage ladies. These are wonderful. She sent me the whole magazine or catalog or whatever it is. Looks like a pattern book. And it's got advertisements. It's so cute. Aww. Fun, thank you. I love it. Oh, look at those. <gasps> wow. So fun. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, this might be chocolate. Or candy. It's a magic mix. Thank you. I'll get into that later. She sent me this kind of a chenille trim and quite a bit of it. I'll have to think of a fun thing to do with that. That won't be hard. That's really cute. I got this fabric. Love this fabric. That is so pretty. I love the colors in it. It's it's kind of uh, heavy, like I don't know if it's an upholstery fabric, but could be something that you would upholster a chair with. It's really pretty. Love the pink polka dot bag. And here are the cards. Oh, she sent me some little bits of trim too. Oh, they're so pretty. It's quite light. It's it's not a woven trim, it's a ribbon with embroidery on it love that. Oh, some German cards. And these cards. I don't know what kind of game they are, but they're beautiful cards. Even the back is beautiful. There's 
there's a grasshopper. Oh, I love that. <laughs> He's trying to catch a bee with a net. A cricket. Looks like the cricket's been drinking. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Look at the back. Oh, these are so fun. Thank you. And some craft cards. She sent me some of these before, and I really love them. I haven't used them because I like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a nativity. And these are Christmas crafts. And so is that one. Oh, that's the same one, isn't it? Yeah, these are doubled. Oh, look. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you. What is this? Wish I could read German. <laughs> Interesting pictures. I like this cover. I like the speckled look and the sketches on it. That's really neat. Can you tell me what this is? Pirio. I don't know if it's a story or if it's like um, a joke book. It might be a joke book. I don't know. Oh, how pretty. A nativity piece of wood. Die cut wood. Love that. Oh, this can go on my ornament on my tree. I think I'll hang them both on my tree to remember Pirio. Look how pretty that is. So delicate. I have an uh, ornament from Germany. When my nephew was stationed in Germany in the army, he bought me an ornament. There's D for Diane on these little tiny index cards. Aren't they cute? I have um, gold on my fingers because I've been working on my Nativity Christmas journal. And I stopped to open this package. Well, these are great. These are going to have to go into my very own personal journals because they have my initials. Did you make this box? It's a D. Oh, I have to put that on a chain. Or I could wear it as a necklace or put it as a charm on one of my books. I might do that. Oh, there's a little book in here. Oh, she made me a tiny book. Look at the little tiny beads. piece of fabric there. That is so sweet, Pirio. If you remember my pink felted wool felt book booklet that I um, did collages in with Mrs. Cog's images, Pirio is the one that made that. She felted the wool. And now I have another little Pirio book. It is so sweet. And I think she made this box. How special. Oh my gosh. I love this. Grandmother and Lori. Katie, Rady, Mum, Apples, 
ten dollars each. Hope it means ten dollars a bushel. Oh, how cute! Pink gingham. There's Ronald. <laughs> Three flowers in my garden. My gardening is full of apples. This is so sweet. So there's the full picture going this way. And there's Roby's house, 1891. That's really cute. Look at the people sitting on the grass drinking lemonade and there's a cat named Dolly. That's adorable. It's another interesting fabric. That's really cool. I love the um, brown. Looks like it's, you know, um, ink drawing. But it's kind of a sepia color. Really nice. I like that. Pink gingham. I wonder if she knows that. I know she lo knows I love pink, but does she know that I love gingham? That is like a bell pull. That is adorable because this right here would make a wonderful flip. And I have two of them. And then more of the gingham to play with. Did you make this, Pirio, or did you find it at one of your sales that you go to? if you made it I don't want to cut it apart this is gorgeous very interesting I've never seen anything like that I can't wait to use that on something that will be a focal point won't it Aww. Only for you. Another ornament for my tree. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's already edged. So again, I could cut that and make um, flips out of it or pockets. And look at this. It's got a clip on the back. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Pretty and silky. There's some Hummel figurines. And she sewed it to a card. I'm going to be making a Hummel journal. I don't know if I showed you. I, I have a tin. My friend bought me... Um, like it's just a rectangular tin with Hummel children on the front of it. And she thought it would be a really cool box to put a journal in. So that's perfect. I will make a Hummel journal and put it in that tin. This bag is full of interesting things. And I really like the bag itself. It has lines on it. It's kind of glassine instead of just a brown bag. There's some heart doilies, a couple of them, two or three, three. They're pretty. A Berta pattern. Is Berta German? I, I've heard of it, and we've, we have some Berta stuff in the U.S., but I think it's a German company. But look at that. Nice skirt. I don't see a year but it's totally unopened package. But I will open it and get into it and make stuff with it. I think she made this. There's some lace here. She made an envelope out of something. And she sewed some lace on it and there's scenery on the flaps. There's a tag. Beautiful teacups.
And there's a little hole to punch out. Must be you can hang some. Maybe it's a gift tag. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. Huh. Very interesting. There's a tuck spot there. I'm not sure how you made this, but it is really neat. Put the things back in it. Quite clever. Oh, look at this. Some die cuts. Butterflies and moths. With a little bit of gold on them. Dragonfly. There's some um, foam stickies so I can put them on something and have them pop up a little bit. Dragonfly, moths, beetles. Butterflies are pretty. Yeah, these are nice. Little ladybug. I'm not really into bugs, but I don't mind ladybugs and dragonflies and butterflies. My granddaughter, Layla, I always call her La Layla Bug. She kind of likes it when I call her Layla Bug. Thank you. I love those. Most of them. This is a book page. Interesting drawings. Pretty. Oh, I was going to say this color would go well with that envelope, but apparently it does go with that envelope. So pretty. I love that. Oh, this has a dog on it. Pirio loves dogs. They look like spaniels, some kind of spaniel, but I'm not sure. I love vintage stationery. This paper is so thin and delicate. Look at the bear. And this goes with it. Oh, how cute. Then we have another sheet of paper and wallpaper. Pretty. I love that. And some vintage envelopes that go, <coughs> go with this paper. She sent me two of the envelopes. And a Daphne's diary. I'll have fun going through that. I can cut it up and use it in my own stuff. Collages and stuff. Oh, look at the owls. Wow. I wonder what they're made out of. I can't read it because it's in German. Stickers. Thank you, Pirio. We're almost done. Then I have some kind of a program. Coffee dyed. Or a cover of a book. And this beautiful paper. Looks like a map, treasure map or something. And it's double-sided. It's different on each side. Cool. Thank you. I love all of it. That was fun, Pirio. I hope that you're going to like what I sent you. First of all, I hope it arrives at his hotel before he leaves. Should be should have been there today or maybe yesterday, so I hope that he got it. And then you have to wait for him to come home so he can give it to you. So let me know as soon as you have any word that he's gotten it. I love all of it. Love that. All right. Thank you, Pirio. It was really fun to do a swap with you, and I hope that you will... Whoops, I put my address right on the top there. I hope that you will agree that it was fun once you get my package. Love you, Pirio. Bye-bye.